Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. We want to thank you all for the support you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. Now, let's begin. Emotional well-being is about how you approach life's problems and how you accept and manage your personal feelings through those changes. So, how do you know if you're emotionally healthy or unhealthy? If you're more emotionally healthy, you can allow your emotions to be more transparent. If you're more emotionally unhealthy, you might be withdrawn and suppress your emotions. You might find it difficult to forgive, feel insecure, and feel like you're running on empty. So with that said, here are five signs you are emotionally unhealthy. One, you withdraw from most situations and isolate yourself. You often run to your room at the slightest inconvenience, or perhaps you tend to isolate yourself even when nothing is seemingly wrong. While it is good to distance yourself from unnecessary conflicts and take a breather every once in a while, too much isolation could be a warning sign of depression. Withdrawing from fun activities and not socializing with family and friends can lead to loneliness, anger, negative thoughts, and misunderstanding. Two, you tell yourself you're fine, even when you're not. You always tell yourself that you're fine, even when you're not. Do you have a habit of ignoring negative emotions? Suppressing emotions may seem like an easy, quick fix, but it can also lead to emotional outbursts. Let's say you suppress your anger over the end of a relationship, or you're upset with a stressful routine at work and you don't tell anyone how you're feeling. If you don't deal with your emotions, something as small as forgetting to buy the milk on the grocery list can lead to an explosive fight. Three, you hold on to grudges. Do you find yourself fighting with your enemy in your head? Like thinking of comebacks to your nasty classmate. While everyone likes to imagine scenarios where they win against their tormentors, it's important to recognize when you're thinking about them too much. Holding on to anger and resentment are heavy weights to carry. Holding grudges can lead to depression or anxiety. You might bring your bitterness and anger into every new relationship and get so wrapped up in the wrong that you can't enjoy your present. Four, your insecurities get the best of you. Are you increasingly worried about your flaws? Do you fear other people's judgments of you? When generalized insecurity goes unchecked for a long period of time, the doubt and negative feelings you experience can have a significant effect on your life. This overwhelming sense of insecurity riddles you with negative thoughts on how to fit in with your peers, reach your goals, or find acceptance and support. Insecurity is linked to mental health conditions, such as narcissism, anxiety, paranoia, and addictive or dependent personalities. And five, you feel like you're just living for the weekend. Do you often feel like you're just getting through your day most of the time? Everyone has annoyances with work and school, and it's normal to want for the weekend on occasion. But when all you do is live for the weekend, that can signify a deeper problem. You might be feeling burnt out and frustrated and are dealing with a significant amount of stress and anxiety. When you have this living for the weekend type of mentality, you miss out on the other types of fulfillment you can get out of the week and struggle with unmet needs, which adds to your stress and frustration. Do you struggle with any of these signs of emotional unwellness? Are there any other signs that you can think of? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up and share it with someone who might find it helpful too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.